This is a customer's bait boat that I've just completed. It's a Black Widow Spider and I've given it the full fisheye camera kits treatment. Got an integrated winch camera on a, a winch bracket that bridges the hopper. It's on a winch part as well, which means it can be controlled fully through the boat handset. Right, sir. Um, the boat's fitted with a Raymarine fish finder and my own APM autopilot system. Now, with, with my system, everything runs off the tablet. So that's your live video and your Raymarine. Uh, this is our current location. And these little icons here, we open them up and get a live video feed for the winch camera. If I just move that up now, you can see we've got live video there. I'm just going to turn the boat lights off. And if I connect the Raymarine fish finder, like so, connected. My video, Rare Marine. There we go. So we've got live video, we've got the Marine fish finder, and we've got an autopilot system all on one screen. Um, I'm just going to show you a few features of the autopilot system. Um, if we go to editor, I can just close these little screens down. I'm just going to go zoom out on the map and so for example go to my favourite fishing lake which is just over here and this is Ladywood Lakes in Murfield and what I can do here whoop, sensitive. If I, let's just delete this. Delete mission. Okay. And click that. And if I draw around here on the screen, uh, I can create a path so the boat can follow that path. Or if I delete that and select survey. What I can now do is delete that. If I draw around there like that. I can create a survey grid uh, for the boat to follow and survey the lake. So all I'd have to do then is upload the mission and the boat will follow all them lines and whilst it's following those lines you could have the fish finder on and you can have live video on. Um, like so. These windows are resizable as well and movable so you could have them you know wherever you wanted them. That sort of thing. And it's all completely live. I'll just move the winch camera up and down for you again. If I zoom out, you can actually alter these as well and move them to other positions. So you could create your own select survey grid if you wanted. Uh, and then all you do, I'll just minimise that, upload the mission. Waypoints saved to drone. And then with the, the handset, 
you've got um, manual mode, and then you've got autopilot, and that will automatically go to those waypoints. And then once you've finished, you've got a return to home function as well. So there you go, absolute awesome bit of kit.